Are we out here? Oh, it's the wrong screen. This one? Yeah. Hi, Neo friends. Am I loud today? We're playing Neopets. I know. I know what you're thinking. Gramps playing Neopets? It's true. I have switched up half of my shops. We do be out here. We do be out here playing Neopets. Some of the shops are normal. Booktastic books. You know why we're here. I'm trying cow. I have been trying to get morphing potions. <gasps> oh my god, everybody's playing Stardew today. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and lurking while you play Stardew. I love that for both of us. I'm getting excited for the plot as well. It's going to be... I hope it's going to be good. I hope that they make it engaging. <sighs> but we're trying cow. I've been trying to get some morphing potions. Fairyland pet pets, we are always here. This is one of my normal haunts. But... My two brand new ones, I usually don't like to do five shops at once, but I'm in some less active shops, so I think it's okay. Um, we have Defense Magic, which I've been doing okay-ish in. And then Healthy Foods is a brand new shop I'm trying for the first time today. Well, brand new to me. <laughs> Thank you for the luck. Um, this shop was suggested to me. Because there are a high number of, like, gourmet foods that stock here. Um, so we're going to give it a try. I took a screenshot. Can you see this? This is pretty much what we're looking for here. Obviously, I've never been in this shop, so I'm not going to see them the first time. But I'm going to try really hard. <laughs> we're going to try to get some asparagus balls and some cauliflower lollies and stuff like that. I'm excited. I'm trying some some new things. Try to keep it fresh for me. Because when everybody asks me where to re restock, I'm like, well, Kayla's in bakery, you know, it's pretty much it. But I want to have some more, I want to have more well-rounded choices for people, I think. Nobody's allowed in Booktastic Books, though. That's my shop. Double Musketeers. Double musketeers. I don't think I've ever seen that. <gasps> also, I uh, last stream I did my entry for the art gallery. And of course, I was going to get on and hopefully tell you all that I got in the art gallery, but they didn't even they didn't even release the winners today. They're holding it until Monday. I'm devastated. Apple tree broccoli, that's cute. That's not one of the ones on my list though. Artichoke and onion surprise. You know what? That item actually uh, ended my Judora's quest run the other day. So I would be proud of myself if I restocked that. Do I have a favorite pet pet? Um, yes, I think the rock is the best pet pet. And I think it has the best uh, paintbrush options. And then for a sleeper hit, hmm, let me think. Rock is the best pet pet, like pet rock, perfect. Um. But, let me think. What's a good sleeper hit pet pet that nobody thinks about? Well, yes, Kai, now that I've learned you don't like zucchini. I'm assuming anything in the health food section would not be for you. Mm. 
Snow Eagle is very cute. I really like, um... Hmm. What do I really like? Cirrus is a sleeper hit to me. The little cloud. I think some of the colors they have are so cute. And they're all so, like, pastel -y and beautiful. And, yeah, I think Cirrus. Cirrus is a sleeper hit, especially with the new spring one they released. Uh, if I had to participate in Neopian capitalism for realsies. Um, I would definitely be a liberated Grundo. <clears throat> and hopefully I would get to work for Bernard at Booktastic Books. Hopefully Bernard would take me under his wing and I could be a librarian or a bookseller. Oh my god, fun fact. Speaking of bookseller, I worked for Barnes & Noble for about eight months and it was the worst job I ever had my entire life. I cried every single night when I got home. And you would think, oh, working at a bookstore must be so chill. It's not. Um, They are very serious and demanding about their sales goals. And... I would get in trouble daily for not selling enough memberships. Hi, hi, hi. You want to work in... Oh, in, in unis in the clothing shop? As a jeweler, that would be cute. I yeah, well, maybe one day I'll do a, I'll do a video for you all. That's just a deep dive into into Dr. Sloth and the Grundos cuz their lore is so good. I should just do a special a special lore video that's just about Grundo and the Sloths. Grundos and Sloth. There we go. What? They got on to you about selling cookies? See, that's insane to me like ugh. um so the memberships at barnes and noble are actually like fine but not that good and i had an employee who was selling record amounts of them because essentially because she was lying she was um lying to customers and charging them for the membership and then hoping they didn't notice so everyone was like oh yeah this is the best employee we've ever had look at all these memberships yet like she was completely just fooling customers and charging them for something they weren't aware they were buying it was so bad i hated that job but the way their membership works is you pay yearly um, I can't remember how much it is a year, but you pay for a subscription for a year and then everything you buy at Barnes & Noble that year is uh, a 10% discount. So you get a 10% discount on everything as a member. So sometimes if somebody was coming in and buying a shit ton of books, especially on double discount day, so like every uh, maybe once or twice a year members got double discount so they would actually get 20% off everything so on those days if somebody was coming in buying a shit ton of books you could pay for the membership with the discount so like if they're buying a shit ton of books and the 10 or 20% ended up being the cost of the membership that was the best way for a customer to get it and those were like no brainers obviously a customer is going to want a free membership um, but other than that, it was really hard to do, and this girl would just straight up lie to people <laughs> and tack it on their bill. It was wild. I hated that job.
No, I liked most of the customers at Barnes & Noble. I wouldn't say the customers were annoying. I like people who read books. It was mostly, the customers were mostly nice. It was the predatory sales goals that got me. <laughs> I honestly will probably never work um, in a customer facing position like that again. The only job I can say I truly liked where I was face to face interacting with customers was barista. I, I truly loved being a barista. Uh, it was my favorite job. It, I made the least money, but it was my favorite job. Um, other than that, I'm I'm going to be. Oh. I'm going to be on computers for now from now on. That's just how it's going to be for me. What year did I work at Barnes & Noble? Um, it was 2018 maybe. 20 Wait, 2017? Maybe 2017. It was very shortly after I got out of uh, university. Oh my god, tell me all the customer service drama, please. Please! Oh my god, yes, libraries. That's the way to do it. I have, I am the same now. I have my library card and I have the Libby app on my phone and I just get my little books and I'm a happy, happy little clam reading my books. However, it does take 7,000 years to get a book you want when it comes out. Because you have to wait months and months for slow readers that queued up in the line before you. Oh, don't be nervous. No, no, no. It's okay. You just have to, in any job, the most important thing is to advocate for yourself and whatever you're doing, just realize that your employers are never going to prioritize you, so you have to be the one to prioritize yourself. You always have to put yourself first. Companies try to do that thing where they're like, we're a family, and like... Uh, you know, do what's best for the tea. No. Put yourself first every time. <gasps> oh my god, imagine complaining complaining to somebody in customer service about your wife <laughs> oh man get a therapist my dude my brother in Fiora please get a therapist Hi, Angel. I feel like being a long distance trucker um, doesn't lend itself to having a very vibrant social life. So you might be the only person they talk to in like three days and they just had to get it out. You know, not that that excuses their behavior, but it might explain it a little bit. <laughs> Every job is asking for a degree. Yep. Which is silly because anything 
you learn the job on the job. We were just talking about this yesterday. Kai was talking to me about this yesterday. Like, you get good... You get good at your job by doing your job. So it's very silly. I understand having some, like, background in the field or whatever, but... Or the other thing, when they're like, Entry-level intern unpaid position. Please have six years of experience. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work for me. Minimum wage. Please have ten years of experience in the field. Oh my god, he only drank at stoplights, so it doesn't count. That's... that... that's... That is a thing that somebody said out loud <laughs> and thought it was okay. Hi, Rob. Rob's been in customer service, too. Have we all... have we all had customer-facing jobs? I was really thrown out there into it at an early age because I, when I was 15, 14, 14 or 15, however, whatever the legal age was in my state, I got my first job at an amusement park. And when I tell you parents and their kids at amusement parks are the worst individuals that exist. So after that, honestly, I was like ready for battle. They really set me up. Five year experience for junior level positions. Yes. Minimum wage, minimum effort. Yes. Oh, you were thinking about like people with pickup trucks. I, you know what? Pickup trucks are something I complain about a lot as well. Like, my dad had a pickup truck when I was in high school, and that man didn't need a truck. He didn't put a single thing in that truck bed. He's not a construction worker. I was like, why do you need this? There's no reason for this to exist for you. I didn't get it. Ooh, Hannah's here too. Hi, Hannah. Yeah, I feel like along the way in every job, every job that you have, you pick up, you pick up knowledge that going forward will be useless <laughs> in any other setting. Like you get, you get this compilation of the most niche knowledge. And that's okay. Oh, I got a little mini stock. Bing, bing. Ah, string cheese. My fave. Oh my god, yes. Um the resume thing that's very true yeah i there's actually a website i can't remember what it's called but there's a website that you can upload your resume to and then like plug in the jobs you're applying for and it tells you i just need to hold on oh it's going away nope there it is hold on okay um it tells you what buzzwords you need to add to your resume for the like AI resume scanner to pick it up. Which is insane to me, but that is a thing that exists. Oh, 
Philly. Oh, somebody's in my shop. Pissed. I was not haggling fast on that one. I thought I was alone. My Faley! Yeah, honestly, applying for jobs, <laughs> it does feel bad. Because they're also, at the same time, trying to make you feel like shit so that they can lowball you with your salary. Give me something good. Yeah, when I was, um, my last, like, corporate job, I just kept being really annoying until they gave me raises. Like, I would be, like, bringing in the receipts, like, here's my performance this quarter. Um, here's how it compares to the performance in our, like, area. Where's where's my raise? What, what am I underperforming? Like, what, what where's my raise? And I was just super annoying until I would get a raise. But like here, I'm I met all the criteria for for the next bracket of this uh this position. So where's can you give me my raise now? And then I would like go to other job interviews, and I would be like, hey, I went to this job interview, and these people offered me a dollar more an hour. Can you match it, or I'm gonna leave? And they would. You just gotta be a little bit of a dick about it. Does minimum wage and living wage not exist? What do you mean? Oh, like, are minimum wage and a living wage the same thing? Absolutely not. Minimum wage in the US is $7.25 an hour. And I think living wage, like, to pay, for somebody to pay for, like, the basic necessities of, like, shelter, food, water, that stuff is, like, what do you think, like, $17 an hour? So, <laughs> if, if seven twenty five is minimum wage and living wage is around $17 an hour, you can do the math on that. Oh, is it 22 now? That's gotta be, like... 22 has to be a accounting for, like, some city living. Yeah, I'm a, um... I'm actually a big, uh... advocate for job hopping. Job hopping... Because uh, something that really opened my eyes was I had a supervisor that had been with the company I was working for for about five years. She was coming up on her five-year mark, and a new supervisor had been hired in uh, at a higher hourly pay than she was getting because her yearly whatever 1% raise or whatever the bullshit that they do her yearly raise as for like being a loyal employee did not add up to what is now the entry level um pay for that job and they keep that stuff secret she only found that out because uh the other supervisor 
left an important fax on the fax machine and she happened to see it. So then she had to be like, she had to go to the, the management team and be like, so I saw this. I've been working in this position for five years. This person has been working here for three months and my pay is lower than theirs. But I'm going to need y'all to fix that. So anyway, that's why I definitely advocate for job hopping. Because when you stay in one job and you get your piddly little raises, it doesn't add up. Unless you fight for, you know, more raises. No, literally, Grimsall. <laughs> Business is fine that they can employ quality employees if they just pay them. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, there is a new book in here. I don't think it's anything good, though. It's different in different states too, uh, Rob, which is kind of annoying. Like, so in Florida, I'm, I think the minimum wage is still seven twenty-five an hour, but in Vermont, it's fifteen. So the states decide whether they want to follow the federal minimum wage or if they want to raise it up higher. And Vermont raised theirs to fifteen. So at least some states give a shit a little bit. Yeah, Kai, that's almost exactly what happened um, to my old supervisor at my old job. That's pretty much exactly the story that I was trying to explain badly. I woke up so I went uh, listen my sleep schedule is really messed up right now <laughs> I uh, fell asleep at like I don't know 4 or 5 a.m. Woke up at 9 and was just, like, wired, wired awake. So I slept for, like, I guess maybe, like, five hours, actually. That's not so bad. So then I got up, did a bunch of stuff, and then went back to bed at, like, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I crashed hard. I can't seem to, like, I, I don't know. I I don't know how people wake up early as fuck and then last the whole day. I got a nap. And I've always been like that. Like, even in school. It, even, so in, in university, I was sleeping whenever I could get the chance. And even in high school, like, I would go to school, come home, immediately take a fat nap the second I got home from school. Like, I don't know how people stay awake. It's just... It's too much. And when I was working that corporate freaking 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m., I was literally getting home from work, eating, and then going right to bed. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people are awake so much. Hi, welcome in. Energy drinks, ugh. 
When I was in high school, one of my friends, like, eroded their intestines or something with an energy drink and crashed uh, in the middle of a track meet, and that really scared me, and so I don't drink energy drinks. You're exhausted. See, we were just talking about naps. Um, how many hours do I think I sleep? I need, like... Ten, like ten. Ten hours of sleep or else I'm upset. I'm even fine with twelve. <laughs> and when I was in school, when I was a kid, I think my record is around seventeen or eighteen hours. Like... I don't know what it was, but I f fell asleep at like 5 p.m. one night and didn't wake up until like the afternoon the next day. Like I can just sleep if no one pro if no one bothers me, I could just sleep straight through. Energy drinks make my fingers tingle. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 29. <laughs> I'll be 30 in a couple months. Charred platter. It's not gonna do it. I would like a clear. We haven't gotten one since we started. And it has been 34 minutes without a clear. Yeah, anyone who says they can they can go on like five hours of sleep wild to me old 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 Yeah, no. It's a no from me, dog. See, Grimsdall, I'm like, oh boy, I hope I slept through something important. Good night, Rob. Tomorrow's Sunday. Don't forget if you want to hang out with me. Rob and I have a scheduled day of friendship that we're supposed to hang out, and I think he's canceled on me like the last three day three weeks in a row. I absolutely would thrive as a house cat. 
That is 100% true. Blue Scorch Stone. I don't even know. I don't know what the Scorch Stones are worth. Oh, it's a little bit of profit. I can try. Why not? Why not? I haven't bought anything yet today. Might as well. Yeah, I would 100% thrive as a house cat. That's my calling. I would need to still be able to play video games, though. Or else it, it might be a deal breaker. You, re you refresh the live. <laughs> I do that all the time when I'm watching TV on my other monitor. Refresh Hulu by accident. Or refresh Discord. What shops are you in? Hannah, if I was your cat, would you play video games for me? She tried to play Breath of the Wild for me once, but she got overwhelmed. Cow and stamps, the big two. Died in the mines, no! Um, I'm partial to, to orange cats. Calicos are definitely, like, in the top. Any cat with some orange is my favorite. When I was a kid, that was my, like, life goal was to have an orange cat. They are menaces, that is true. That is 100% factual. Morphing Potion Gallery. You know what though? I will say this about the Morphing Potion Gallery. It is one of the most doable galleries because all of the morphing potions are buyable. There aren't any rarity 101s or retired items you have to worry about. So if you're going to go for a gallery, a morphing potions is a good choice. Not saying it's easy, but it is doable. I think somebody said yesterday that a full morphing potion gallery would cost about 1 billion neo points total if you were to buy them all. But if you restock some, you could get it down to like 500 mil. And that is a lot, but it is a, it, it is a possible thing to achieve. Black cats do slay. Gotta love black cats after seeing Sabrina the Teenage Witch. They slay. My grandmother has a couple of, like, fancy smushed-in-face Persian cats, and one of them is really ugly. But the other one is kind of cute. He grew on me. His name is Cake. Do 
That's okay. If you restock them once, you can do it again. I believe. I would like a clear now. What do you mean? Of course Carmen's the ugly cat. Listen, if petting stray cats is wrong, I don't want to be right. Shops are dead. Yeah, they have a lot of health problems and they're bad at eating and breathing. <laughs> and it's really sad because like the the girl cat that my grandmother has, she basically rescued from a kitten mill. This cat is like a couple years old and has had four litters of kittens. Insane. And like she was so tiny and her eyes were all crusty and her fur was all raggedy and my grandmother's been like getting her back to optimum health, giving her like <laughs> eye drops and fancy stuff for her fur and stuff. And now she's thriving. My grandmother is very serious about her cats. <gasps> the lag was bad earlier. I don't usually, I almost never restock any earlier in the day than this. The only time I restock any earlier than right now is if I'm streaming. I prefer to uh, restock in the oceanic hours. The wee hours of the night in the morning. Yes, Hannah, you are also very serious about your cat, but I mean it from, like, the perspective of, like, intense grooming and things like that. Washing their butts every day and so on and so forth. Um, I would say, what time is it? My time, 8.30. Usually if I'm restocking in Magic, it's like three hours later than right now. And I don't, I'm just barely getting the hang of Magic. Um, I avoided Magic for a really long time. But like, last night I got two morphing potions. And... I'm getting a little bit quicker every day. My goodness. Oh, did I miss Morphing Potion? See, didn't even catch it. Magic and Stamps, so you just started off punishing yourself in the two hardest shops. There were four? Holy shit. See, I'm- oh, did we get a clear? Am I banned? There are too many shops right now that I have open. This is a mistake. Having five shops at once is a mistake. Oh, I'm always online. I don't log out on my computer. I always have Neopets up in the background, no matter what I'm doing. Um, it's always up. I don't log out. Oh, here we go. 
from corn. I don't think that's anything. Yeah, um, because throughout the day, whatever I'm doing, I'll, like, put my Neopet back into training or, uh, check the new features to see if I got in the art gallery. Like, I'm always, it's, there's always a Neopets tab up. I'm never not on Neopets. But restocking, I would say, I usually start, so, like, I do homework until, like, 11.30 p.m. That seems to be my cutoff when my brain starts to go foggy. So it'll, around 11.30 p.m. is when I start restocking. And then I restock <laughs> till reset. So I restock for, I guess, about three hours. And then I do my dailies at reset and then I go to bed. That's pretty much my Neopet schedule. But throughout the day, I'll do stuff like um, check on my training and all that BS. But my all of my restocking happens between like 11.30 p.m. and 3 a.m. Hiya! Unless I'm streaming. Because I'm not going to stream at 11.30 p.m. That would be silly. Wobble dogs. Is that real? Yeah, all the hissy morphing potions uh, kind of tanked because of the ice hissy one. Another reason I don't stock early in the day is because um, on pet days, on um, like pet holidays, the items usually come out around 6 p.m. my time so if I restock any earlier than that I could get banned before the new items come out and I do not want that so yeah I'm definitely a nighttime a late night restocker not if you see me online in the daytime um I'm just staring at my grundos just staring maybe playing snow muncher because I've been trying to get the avatar Oh, I'm lagging. Hissies are your favorite? Yes, yeah, so you can zap. Mm. Nothing good here. <gasps> oh, space fairy stamp. At least it wasn't the upside down one. But RIP regardless. Um, Tips for Cy Bunny Day. The burp cheat. Yes, I do know the burp cheat. I still suck at the game. Um, Cy Bunny Day, you're just gonna... We're just gonna have to see what items come out. The best case scenario for restockers will be if they give us an item in Uni's clothing. Um, lately, on all the pet days, they've been releasing items in Cog's Togs, which is good because Cog's Togs needs more inventory. But the problem with that is the items deflate really, really fast. So hopefully they'll give us some Cogs Tog stuff, but they'll also give us a fun outfit in Uni's that we can restock for a little while. Because right now Uni's inventory kind of sucks eggs. So it'd be nice to give it a boost with a cute side bunny outfit. Oh shit. Did I get banned or was that another clear?
Yeah, this month is really good. We have Cy Bunny Day, Lutari Day, Croc Day, Gray Day, all fantastic days. Shoiru Day was meh. Another clear. Okay, good. No, oh, magic stocked. I think I missed it. Defense. Yeah, Festival of Negs. I also, I think my last Festival of Negs was 2018, so I'm kind of excited too. Um, it should be pretty easy to make your Psy Bunny. I think you can do it the whole day. You have the whole day to do it. Um. It, it used to be a lot harder because there was like an hourly limit. But I don't think that's been a problem in a lot of years because there's just not as much, you know, that was back when millions of people were playing the game. You should be okay. You shouldn't run into any issues. But uh, if you do, you might just have to check in on how the, the limits work, if they reset hourly or something like that. No, I haven't seen that. Are they on a pet page? Yeah, it, I think it's just, is it just unlimited now? It used to, I know it used to come in batches, like you would have to wait for the batch and then try to create one, but I feel like they definitely changed that. I'm honestly shocked that they haven't put out any Lutaris. It seems like Sorry, I can't do two things at once. Sesame pistachio cake. I don't think that's on my list. Thimble of soup. That's so cute. Yeah, that's not anything. Thimble of soup. Oh, I miss magic again. Staring at thimble of soup. <laughs> That tracks, honestly. Great. I see. Okay. Fan art. Oh my god. Look at his belly. Oh, the gray one. Oh my god. Oh my god, the plushie. Oh my god. They're all so beautiful. They're so cute. Oh. Yeah, those are great. Sorry, I keep sniffling. I love gray pets. Gray pets were my, like, first favorite. It was, like... Oh, they're just so good. Every single one of them is so good. <laughs> the Narbo's really cute. His belly's sticking out.
it does seem silly that that there are no Lutari, uh, nostalgic Lutaris, like none. Yeah, that plushie was so cute. Still learning this shop, so I still have to look stuff up sometimes. Easy to get baited in defense magic. Ooh, we're coming up on the hour mark. I'm gonna go for about 20 minutes more. And then I'm gonna call it. Just a quick one today, because I started kind of late. I think they have plans to put out new plushies soon. They're they're taking down their whole merch store and making a new one. So I think we're going to get like a new wave of merch. I think. That's what they that's how they made it seem anyway. I'm ready for the Neopets Squishmallow collab. Okay, Kai. Try not to break any more toes. Poogle cloak. Hmm. Oh, I think I gotta start the music over. Oh my god, build a bear. Oh my god, a build a bear grundo. I would die. I would actually pass away. The 25th anniversary style? Yeah. Um we I've been talking about this because we have uh birthday pet pets. Why don't we have birthday neo pets? Birthday or anniversary, gimme, 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 you know? Oh, did we clear? Or is the game telling me to end stream? Did I get banned? I always get banned on stream. What what shop still has inventory for you? <laughs> I always get banned on stream. And you know what? I bet that's not even going to be considered a quick ban because it happened like two minutes over the hour.
Food? Healthy food? Or regular food? Fresh foods. Yep, fat band. Did I even get anything today? Nope, I got one scorch of stone. One scorch stone. I don't know why I add an extra letter in there. Honestly, I get banned every single time I stream. And it's within an hour, too. I don't know what it is either. But it happens every time. It looks like I got a couple things to price. Well, that ends my restocking journey today. You know what, though? There's something I started last night um, that I was continuing today. I started um, buying all the cheap stamps. So I'm up to 500 stamps. Really proud of myself for that. And then um, I don't know if any of you heard about my my little restocking guild, but I, I do have a little guild if anybody wants to ever join. Um, I do a little graphic every month that has uh, the holidays that we care about for restocking. And right now what we're working on is um, the next customization contest. So we did one for spring and it was really fun. So next month we're going to do another one. It looks like they're voting for Dreams vs. Nightmares. So the theme of the customization contest is going to be Dreams vs. Nightmares. If you want to join the guild and, and do the... The customization contest the, the way it's gonna work um i'm gonna do two customs to kind of uh show examples but you can either do like a dream custom or a nightmare custom and then what happens is everybody enters i round up all the um the entries and the prizes and then I put them all up on the page and we vote. It's really, really fun. So if if you don't have a guild and you want to do some silly fun guild stuff, feel free to join. It's a very chill guild. There's no like requirements or things that you have to do. It's just for fun. Um, but yeah, this uh, par for the course got banned super fast and didn't buy anything. <laughs> but I feel like we had some good chats. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, suffering suffering with me because the conversation really helps it really does um <laughs> hopefully so i would say neopets is kind of at a standstill right now until we get festival of negs or plot stuff we're kind of just hanging out so my goal has been to stream once a week and then if anything exciting happens i make like a formal video but for now all I'm really committing myself to is streaming once a week. So I'll see you here again next week with whatever we're doing. Probably restocking, maybe customizing, maybe doing some art. Because I still need to get that booktastic book from the creative contests. Hippo rank. Yeah, I'm King Hippo. Get into it. But yeah, I think that's that's all the housekeeping stuff I wanted to say. Love y'all. I'm sorry that there were no super exciting wins this time around. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, I guess. You were all my favorite, and I hope that you don't get quick banned. I hope you have a good night restocking. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye!